Hey YouTube, my voice cracked, but we are in the uh, bathroom here, well, uh, Voldemort, right there, he's taking off his makeup, so I'm going to do a review on the Harry Potter, start off by saying it's 3 o'clock in the morning, we just got back from the movie theaters, so, um, how it starts off. Harry, don't tell me how it starts off. Is at Shell Cottage, but they show that after Voldemort steals the Elder Wand from Dumbledore's grave. It's a replay. They kind of overlap part one and part two of Deathly Hallows, and then. It shows Harry, Ron, and Hermione talking to Griphook and Ollivander. Griphook about getting into the Gringotts and Ollivander about the Elder Wand. And Ollivander says, yes, Voldemort truly possesses the Elder Wand, but he is wrong. <laughs> so, then Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Griphook all go to Gringotts. They go on these awesome carts to get to Bellatrix Sanders' vault. And I thought that was really cool. How it was like a roller coaster. And then they entered the Lestrange's vault. And there were objects there. Including the Horcrux. And a fake copy of the Gryffindor sword. So after they enter the vault, they get the cup, and they have to escape Griphook because he says that he is not going to let them out, because he said he let them find a way in, but he's not going to let them find a way out. So Ron, Harry, and Hermione do the craziest thing ever and <laughs> jump on a dragon and fly out of Green Ups. And then... They come to a lake and jump in. And then Harry says, Voldemort knows that I'm hunting Horcruxes. And I know the last Horcrux is something about Ravenclaw. So they go to Hogwarts to find the last Horcrux. It's actually the second to last Horcrux. And it's something about third Ravenclaw. Need help. Excuse no. me, third to last. My friend Voldy over here is correcting me. Okay, wait, what are you using? Toilet paper? It's a cotton ball. And I'm so, why have, like, after that, it the edge. Harry goes yeah, into Hogwarts <laughs> and he meets Dumbledore's <laughs> army, including Neville, yes. Seamus, Dean, Lavender Brown, Luna Lovegood, Ginny Weasley, blah 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 blah. Yeah, blah. And it shows how mean. Snape and the Carrows are to the rest of the Hogwarts people. And it shows them walking in a line. It also shows Voldemort with Griphook at his feet because Vic Griphook died. And then Harry asks the Grey Lady about the lost diadem. The diadem of Ravenclaw. And so, the Grey Lady tells Harry that the diadem is in the Room of Requirement. So Harry goes into the Room of Requirement, and while he's doing that, Ron and Hermione are trying to find the Basilisk Fangs. So they will destroy the whole cups once they find it. Now, Harry enters the room requirement, and Draco Malfoy and Vincent Crab follow him, along with Blaze the Beanie, who's another fellow Slytherin of theirs. And so, Harry finds the Horcrux in the room of requirement, and then Malfoy comes up to Harry and goes, Hey, hey. And then... They fight, 
and they get the Horcrux, but then Crab or Goyle, I can't remember which one of them did it, but they produced a fire called Fiend Fire, which was fire that chased after them. And so then Harry, Ron, Hermione, trying to leave the requirement with broomsticks. But then they saw Draco all alone, about to be swallowed up by the fire. He wasn't alone. Was some Along there. with some fellow Slytherins. So they grab Draco and make their way out of the requirement. Fellow oh, Slytherin. There's only one more. Meanwhile, Voldemort is talking to Snape. So they make their way down to Snape after destroying the Horcrux and they are down near the lake near Hogwarts so then Voldemort kills Snape so that he can become the true master of the Elder Wand but it was really false because the true master of the Elder, Elder Wand ended up being Harry and then Snape gives Harry a memory after he died Harry goes to the Pensieve, looks at the memory, and it's all about what Harry must do to beat Voldemort. And that Snape truly was on Harry and Dumbledore's side. So Harry discovers he is a Horcrux himself and he must die. So he walks into the forest and takes along with him the golden snitch that says, I open at the close. Now the close is Harry's death. So Harry said, I'm about to die, puts the snitch to his lips, and it opens up. So then Harry is accompanied by Remus Lupin, Sirius Black, Lily Evans, and James Potter on his way to his death. He walks into death's welcoming arms and lets Voldemort kill him. He's then transported to Wizard Heaven. It's a white place that looks like King's Cross Station. Voldemort talks... No. There's a baby that is Voldemort and is wounded and is also in heaven with Harry. Because when Voldemort killed Harry, he also destroyed a part of him, a Horcrux that was in Harry. So then Voldemort is also in heaven, but it's a miniature Voldemort, and then Harry meets Dumbledore, who's in heaven because he died in the sixth book. And then, Harry and Dumbledore talk about some stuff, and they conclude that Harry must go back to the Earth to kill Voldemort, and kill the snake. That would complete all the Horcruxes, and he would be dead. So, then Harry and Voldemort are at the forest again, laying on the ground. Narcissa Malfoy walks up to Harry to determine if he's dead or not. She actually asked Harry if Draco Malfoy was still in the castle. Harry said yes. So, they went back to Hogwarts with Harry so that Voldemort could show everyone that he was dead. And then, Neville spoke up and said that people died so that Harry may fight Voldemort. And then, after that, Harry jumps down from Hagrid's arms, because Hagrid was holding Harry, and people discover he's actually alive. So then, all heck breaks loose again in Hogwarts, and another battle begins. But this time, the Death Eaters are being overtaken, and the snake is killed by Neville Longbottom with the Sword of Gryffindor. So then, Harry knows he must do one thing, kill Voldemort, and that's just what he does. And after Harry kills Voldemort, it's a peaceful ending. Harry, Ron, and Hermione are out on the bridge, just talking to themselves. And it's kind of the last scene of Harry Potter you think it is until a black screen appears and it says 19 years later. So then it shows Harry, Ron, and Hermione and Ginny all at
King's Cross Station about to let their kids go to Hogwarts. Ron marries Hermione. Harry marries Ginny. Draco, I don't know who he marries. I couldn't tell. And I swear I saw Neville Longbottom and Luna Lovegood in the background as couples. So, Harry's kids are Albus, Severus, Snape, Albus, Severus, Potter. Albus, Severus, Potter. I'm such an idiot. Thank you, Voldy. I appreciate it. <laughs> and then there's... I think Harry named his other son James. And his other son Lily. Just like Harry's parents. Son. <laughs> I mean his other daughter. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. And then Ron and Hermione's kids are. Kid, I think. Rose. Weasley. And. The boy. I can't remember his name. So they ended up having kids. And life went on. And all was well. And long live Harry Potter.